Now, how many in this room have written goals personally, professionally? A lot of you in the room. Would you be interested in a strategy that some of the most successful people in the world deploy, but have incredibly different results? Yes. So let's look at statistics. Let's look at numbers for a moment. Okay. The majority of the people in North America on this continent will set a written goal approximately once or twice a year. They'll set it around Christmas time, New Year's time, New Year's Day, right? Most of those people. So 95, well, 5% five of the population do that. 95% of the people never ever set a goal or, or a target. What I do is I actually write out my top 20 goals in my life that I want to achieve this year, personal person I'm committed to. I write them out a minimum of 730 times a calendar year. Every morning when I wake up and every night before I go to bed. And it's non-negotiable. It's non-negotiable. It's, it's a daily discipline. It's easy to do and it's easy not to do. But I write it out and here's the reason why. Because what you'll find is in your mindset, as you start to write out your goals every morning, every night, consistently, day after day after day, you will start to form it in your mindset how you prioritize your calendar during the waking hours of your day of what are high priority activities. What are revenue generating activities? Because every morning you're present when you first wake up in the first few hours or first minutes of your waking hours in the morning, you're present to what your top 20 personal professional goals are that you're committed to in your life. So it's a mindset in terms of focusing you and framing you. Does that make sense? And as, as incoming calls come in, people wanting to request things, your, your chance of saying no to the opportunity or no or decline the opportunity increases. Because now you know if it's aligned to whether you're on track or off track to where you're going in your life personally and professionally. Does that make sense? Yes. And then before you retire and go to bed in the evening for dream time, when you go to dream time, when you go to bed, what you're looking at is your top 20 goals. Now, I wrote my goals 804 times last year. And the reason why is I had over 70 failures, mistakes, adversities, challenges, every time. So this morning, I had a, um, I had a huge thing happen to me this morning, right? Of, of, a, of a drawback, a setback in a business situation. Huge thing. So what did I do? First thing I do is rather than complaining or beating up myself with negative self-talk, I have to go to my journal, I write up my top 20 goals, so it resets my mindset to where I'm going, not where I just came from. And that's the difference in terms of mental focus and mindset training and development and dream building. Is that what you do is you start to reset your mindset by writing your goals. Now, is it easy to do and easy not to do? Yes, it is. The challenge is, is the discipline of consistently doing it day after day after day. There's times where I don't feel like writing out my goals. I'm tired. I'm jet lagged. Just a couple weeks ago, I was in Oslo, Norway. I flew in. I was really tired. Didn't feel like doing it. So what I do now is I preset my mindset that if I know I'm going to be tired, I write, start writing my goals out earlier throughout the day. So that way I don't have shame and guilt and beating up on myself to do this. Now, one of the things also to be aware of is dedicating one hour a day to something that's going to help you improve your life. So pick it. It could be sales, marketing, creating joint ventures, strategic alliances. Whatever it is for you, you dedicate one hour a day where you're focused, reliable, and disciplined to studying that industry. Whether it's reading a book, it's watching something on the internet like on YouTube, it's reading an article, it's talking to somebody by telephone or Skype or Google Hangouts. But every day you commit to being a lifelong learner to that specific subject. And what you will find is as it compounds over a period of time, you'll find all of a sudden, wow, like I, I, I'm realizing now in the last you know, 30 plus days, almost 40 days now into now February of 2015, all of a sudden these people are starting to appear in my life because when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Because I started writing out my goals twice a day since January the 1st of this year, all of a sudden these people, places, events, opportunities are starting to show up into my life. And I'm just allowing myself to trust the process because every day I'm focused on where I want to go. Does 